and here we are at last on the 18th of April 2017. Hello, I'm David Payne. Welcome to Beijing Nan, Beijing South Rover Station. This speed demon over here is the 0900 G1 departure, which will take me a thousand kilometers more non-stop from Beijing to Nanjing. But I thought before you got onto the train, maybe you might want to check out the whole South Station for yourself. The Beijing South Railway Station is absolutely huge. Redone and reopened in August 2008, just in time for the Beijing Summer Olympics, the station, especially at the departures level, is likely to take your breath away. This station has trains going to eastern and southeastern China, as well as a few services to the northeast. Intercity trains to Tianjin also depart from Beijing South. This station, as you can see over here, is much more round than square. That's because close by is another important edifice, and that's the Temple of Heaven. This part of the station here has a bus hub, and for the regular rail fans amongst us, the regular rail trains passing through platforms 2 to 5 in this part of the station. I know most of you can't wait to take the next possible train out from Beijing South. My end, I feel exactly the same. First though, let's take a look at the arrivals and transfer level at this very station, which too is being made for convenience and easy access. I often get a, a coffee or a quick orange juice um, as I arrive here from the trains at the arrivals and transfer level. Um, this part of the station offers incredibly fast connections. We're outside from the uh, railway arrivals gate line. As fast as you can get to the uh, to the subway gate lines is within 15 seconds. I've, tra I've tried that and it's incredibly fast. At the arrivals level there's also a fair bit of refreshments and of course there are the two subway lines 4 and 14 right inside. Line 4 is mostly a north-south line that passes via Xidan and Chang'an Avenue, while line 14 goes mostly to the CBD and Wangjing. For high-speed trains, the express entrances match with the corresponding ticket gates and platforms, while for intercity trains, express entrance number 8 is being used. There's a good selection of refreshments at the arrivals and transfer level, from burger joints and the almost ubiquitous Starbucks to more local variants. Most passengers at this point though will choose to go to the departures hall on level 2. And you know that I'm certainly one of them. This station looks much more like an airport than a real traditional train station. And I think that's not going to be the only time I'm going to say it. Across here at the departures hall there are gates to either side. Gates 2 to 5 for a few regular rail and overnight sleepers. 6 to uh, 17 for the very busy Beijing to Shanghai high speed railway line and 18 to 23 for the equally busy Beijing to Tianjin intercity. There are also ticket holes integrated at the departure level, most notably numbers 1 and 3 to this side of the departures hall. Also, if you need any help whilst on the go, there is a service desk right by gates 2 and 3. Refreshments are mostly at the sides, with the centre of the departure hall mostly filled with seating for passengers waiting for their connection. If you're travelling to Tianjin on an intercity train service, make sure you use a travel registration kiosk to reserve your seat before you go. There are 24 platforms at Beijing South, but most passengers will use platforms 6 to 23. Here's a sneaky tip, platform 24 is exit only. Finally, it was time for me to get ready, to get my tickets in order, and as the signage would say, to check in and start my journey. My train was waiting for me on platform 13. If you can imagine going from, like I said, London to Berlin non-stop for um, three, close to four hours, this is where we're at. This is business class on the hybrid train. What I need to do is I just get my little chair out. I've got the uh, adapter somewhere else. Just to plug in and just simply tune along the whole journey. Common sense tip before you go, always check you're on the right train and in the right carriage, as on coupled trains there will be no access inside the train between cars 8 and 9. I think we're it. That door is now closed at Beijing South. The next time it's going to open, we're going to cross two rivers, 1,100 kilometers, it's going to be Nanjing. I'll see you there.